All right, this is recording. Uh, Saturday, 30th of April, last day of the month, rent is due. The lunch shift was okay. Made 47 bucks, I think. I didn't film it because I didn't feel like it. I just wanted to have like a smooth lunch shift. I did three Uber Eats and one DoorDash on my way home. I did one Wait, what was this restaurant? I don't know. I don't even remember what I did. Oh, you can't see what restaurant it was. What was the restaurant that I did this morning? Whatever. I did one order when I arrived. I don't remember which restaurant it was. Uh, $9.70, um, pretty easy one. Then I had a pretty big order from Starbucks, eight black iced tea, $12.99, took me 30 minutes to go there. I went to the hills today, it was all in the hills. And then uh, on my way back here, I got an alcohol order from Drizzly that was supposed to be 14 and then it ended up being 15. Um, and this was a gift, so that's the problem with the gift, and I, I did a lot of uh, alcohol gift orders when I was doing Drizzly with DoorDash. The problem is sometimes the people don't tell the person that they are receiving a gift and there's nobody home. So many times it happens and it's a problem because then you can't leave the alcohol and uh, you have to return to the store. Us usually you're getting paid for this, but it's a pain in the ass. And I arrived there, I walked to the house because I parked a little bit further away and I did put the, um, the bottle in the DoorDash bag. I don't want necessarily people to know, like, the, you know, the neighbors, you don't want them to know what you're delivering. Uh, it was just one bottle of champagne. I think it was champagne. I didn't I don't remember. I didn't check I go up to the door and there is a guy that comes in like in the in the pathway and he's like Oh, you're delivering drizzly and it was like, yeah, and he said, oh, I almost miss you Like I I was about to leave and I was like, well, thank God uh, So Scandi's Heidi um, Everything was okay. He signed he got the bottle and then I went on my merry way Came back here, did a $10.75 order. I wanted to um, wait for an order to go back home. I was hoping to get one and I did. $10 for eight miles. It's too far away in the normal time, but I was going back home, which is eight, nine miles away. Literally took me two minutes from my house. So, and then I was going to Target and Target is right behind my house. So it's just perfect. It was one sandwich from Ike's. It is 6.03 p.m. I am at the hotspot. I had a bunch of bad orders, $6, $7, $5 for like a gazillion miles. I We don't do this here. It's Saturday night. We don't have peak pay here anymore um, in LA. I don't know if it's because of Prop 22. I don't know if it's because it's after COVID and there are not enough orders anyways for the amount of drivers which seems to be the case, um, I don't know, but we don't have peak pay. I prefer so people are not incentive. There is no incentive for people to get out and drive for DoorDash, so more for me. And let's see what this dinner shift has to give us. Today was an Uber Eats day, I just grabbed this DoorDash order that just wasn't good from like a driver standpoint, but since I was going home, I took it, and she did. She did tip pretty well. Like her, the order was fifteen dollars, not even fifteen dollars. I think fourteen dollar and some change, and she did uh, tip pretty tip pretty well. So that's okay with me. Also, I wanted to ask you guys: when you star a restaurant on Uber Eats, does it mean that you are more, you have more chances to receive orders from that? restaurant or does it just say like okay cool it's one of your favorite like because I'm so new to Uber Eats I just reached like 43 deliveries or something it used to be really bad and the DoorDash used to be really good I didn't need 
before to to turn on Uber Eats. Uber Eats was never turned on. Like I was logging in on DoorDash and I was getting bombarded with like twenty dollar order. <sighs> it was great. Um, but anyway, because I starred several restaurants that I like, the ones that are around here that are always ready. Uh, I don't know if that means that I'm more inclined to see orders from them. I don't know. So if you know, please let me know. Eleven dollars? No, it's too far. It was like four miles for eleven dollars on Uber Eats. The problem with Uber Eats, I don't know when they're hiding tips. I don't know if they are hiding tips actually, but I don't. To me, eleven dollars for four miles is too low. For a beginning of the shift if it was like towards the end and it's slow i would take it uh but right now i just began i think i can get better oh by the way do you remember the guy that the guy that i delivered the order for shipped the alcohol order uh that i talked about that he never tipped yesterday i saw this exact same order again so that's a dude uh like i thought it's a dude that orders every single month and um never tips <laughs> Stack order for $19.91. Where is this restaurant here? I think I'm gonna take it. Yeah. Let's go. The two orders have been dropped off. It was one of those stack orders where it's two different restaurants. We didn't know before. But uh, one was like for a sushi place that was across the street with pretty big parking and if there is no parking which is what I did this time there is like a bank a chased bank next to it and uh, there was nobody in there and literally took me two minutes to to pick up and the second one that I picked up first actually it's a uh, frozen yogurt and it's in the supermarket where I was so super easy and then drop off was in the hills first guy was uh, waiting for me outside so that's perfect uh, he had the biggest order. It said under his name, like, uh, that person has reported items missing or damaged, whatever, I don't remember. So we will see. Uh, and second drop-off was, he, it, she was literally two minutes away from the first uh, order. And it was a way to in the car, but she wasn't there. And, you know, the, the front door was just literally there. Um, so I rang the doorbell and she was like, oh, you're here. And I was like, yeah. <laughs> and uh, she said, thank you and bye. So that's done. That's an easy 19 bucks. If it stays 19 bucks, I don't know. We will see. Now I'm going to go back to my hotspot. It's been pretty decent today compared to other Saturdays that I've had. Uh, those heels, they're, they're really taking a toll on my poor mini. Like, really, when it's too steep, she really doesn't like it. Don't pause DoorDash when I do this. I let it run in the meantime to see if I can get an order. I didn't. Like, I got a, a bunch of, like, $6 order. And I got a $14 order, a stack. Wait, what is this order? Eight bucks for a Saturday. Mm, I think I can do better. Stack order for $9.55. Can you imagine this? For six miles, like, 5.3 miles. It's just ridiculous at this point. Like, hell no. I did just get a $19 order for stack. But it was nine miles and um, it's way too far. It's taking me out of my zone. And it's uh, two different restaurants for two different people. And I did go there last time. Um, and it took me a good 45 minutes just to go there. And when I came here, the traffic on the freeway going there was just horrid. So I figured it would take me at least an hour and a half to complete those two orders. So I just declined it. And uh, now I'm waiting for another order that is less miles. Because honestly, nine something miles is way too far for middle of a shift. It's just gonna, it's just gonna tell, it's, it's gonna take so much time that when you're done with this one, this is the end of the shift so to me it doesn't make sense if it was again if it was the end of the shift i would have taken it but it's not so when you do a drizzly order apparently you don't have to wait for the tip to show up one hour after which is cool it also when you go into your earnings tab and stuff it will show like 
you know when you go into the earnings tab and you can see when it was requested the time it took and whatever for drizzly orders i realized that it says zero minutes like it doesn't it doesn't show at all i'm not sure why but uh that's what i that, that's what i've seen so far uh, last time it asked me to enter his information because his driving license was from South Carolina or something and this guy today his ID was from Washington and it didn't ask me so I think it's random probably if it's somebody who already ordered on DoorDash or Drizzly I mean Uber Eats uh, alcohol maybe it stores the ID I don't know but um, you don't have to wait for the tip it will show up immediately so i think there was a hidden tip because they say oh they tipped you um they tipped you more but then it showed the amount and i was like mm, they they tipped me more in 20 seconds <laughs> uh but whatever and whatever you see on the screen you will get immediately after you hit delivered for drizzly so that's good to know but also, if you want to know how long it takes you to do an order, just making sure that you put your own uh, timer because on Uber Eats, on the app, it is not working. Don't you love it when you're in the middle of an orange zone with a $1 peak pay on Uber and the only orders you're getting are $5 orders? <laughs> okay been sitting here for a while now waiting for a good order they're all five dollar order lately or just really bad mileage sun is beginning to set 7 15. come on you can do better than this uber eats doordash saturday night come on come on rich people order food or generous tippers i do not discriminate or both you are invited to order food and uh, live a generous tip. Thank you very much. Took a stack order. Uh, Uber and DoorDash, they both are going in the same direction. Two different restaurants. Um, one burger and one ice cream. And obviously the burger was ready and the ice cream wasn't. I'm gonna deliver the ice cream first, which is the DoorDash, and then I will deliver the burger. They are literally on the way, so no problem here. Um, first customer is five minutes away, let's go. Both orders have been dropped off. There were both houses, both leave at the door. So pretty easy, 16 bucks, I think or 18 uh, because the DoorDash ended up being $8.75 and I think the Uber was 12 so it might as well be 20 bucks okay well, I'm right under a light oh I'm pretty happy about this $32 then I like Uber stacked order I don't know why but all of the stack order that I've had on Uber have been more than expected and not just a bit more a lot more I don't know why. I don't know if they hide the tip. I, I don't know if the dude actually tipped more. Not sure. Um, we'll never know. So uh, I'm back at my hotspot. It is 8.08 p.m. Well, my finger accepted an order on Uber Eats while I was clicking on the Instagram icon. <laughs> and I think it's like 11 bucks for one mile or something so i guess we're doing it i've been sitting here for like 10 minutes anyways nothing's happening um it's slow right now so for the second part of the evening on saturday food was ready to go let me put it in my hot bag oh it's a pretty big order it seems 52 dollars <laughs> the bag is pretty heavy Okay, oh. All right, hot bag done. Summed up, start for later because I liked it. Start delivery. 
Uh, leave at the door, house with black stripped gate. Perfect, Mike, I will do that. Six minutes, navigate because I don't like Uber Eats navigation and they say five minutes let's go that's done he was waiting right behind the gate <laughs> and there was no light and he kind of like it spooked me a little bit because i arrived at the gate i put the bag down i took a picture with timestamp i think he was already there and he said hello and i was like whoa <laughs> i was not expecting because it was a leave at the door anyway it was for a vegan place 17 dollars Ah, uh, it's going so far away. <laughs> it's too far. It's taking me out of my zone. And it's gonna take me like 30 minutes to come back home. It's just not ideal. If it was going back north <sighs> towards the house, I would have taken it, please. Another $30 order would be amazing. It's 8.46 right now. It's pretty slow. The, all the restaurants over there are closing at nine this one just closed they just left overall not a bad day i had wished that i would have made more but it's the end of the month but yeah there is still the supermarket over there with a the frozen yogurt inside that closes at 11 then there are all of the restaurants over there that don't close right now uh, but parking sucks over there but you know gotta do what you gotta do so if i can get another good ish order to come back home because i would like to come back home at 9 30 maximum at the pace that it's going to be honest i don't think it's gonna be an exciting end of the night <laughs> like maybe one another one other order to come back home and uh that will be it because before getting this one i had been waiting for a good 10 15 minutes in the house in the house yes in the car um i mean i still get the pretty crappy orders like five six dollars that i would never take uh even on a weekday i wouldn't take it so yeah uh it did say i received a three dollar order no a three dollar tip for my last order which was the ice cream i believe the one that i did with the uh, no the burger the one that i did coupled with the ice cream from DoorDash. Oh no, okay, so $3.12 is the base pay for the order that I just did. And this one, yeah, it's not the hour. It, it hasn't uh, been an hour since delivery yet, so I don't know. It should be soon though. Uh, I should get another $5, $5 tip, I think, on this one. On the ice cream, no, on the burger. No, no, on the burger. Oh my God. I. <laughs> I think it's time to go home soon and sleep. I was about to leave to go home and I got a $21 order for alcohol, but I have to shop and it's just over there. I've never been to that store before. I just don't know the layout of that store at all, but um, I think it was less than a mile or less than two miles even. It's 9-11. It sounds weird. <laughs> it's 9 p.m. and I'm gonna go do this. It should take me maybe 20 minutes. The time to find the items. I don't know if there's gonna be a line. I don't know. The store is four minutes away. We're gonna go there. Hopefully they have the bottle and, and they have six of them because it's the same bottle. Six times the same bottle. Six times what it is. Roth Alexander Valley Cabernet Sauvignon wine. We'll see. Okay, it is finally done. They didn't have six of the same. They only had five. It's fine. It said to remove the sales tax at checkout. And the guy was like, I can't do this for alcohol. And I was like, yeah, well. Uh, so I did put that it was done because he would not let me... Um, he would not let me proceed if I didn't tap it so I just tapped it it went through um, I did have to ask an employee I could not find them for the life of me and then I found them and it was on the top row obviously and I couldn't get them and 
he was like, oh, nee, no problem. And I, it took me so much time. And then I saw the aisle Cabernet Sauvignon and I was like, oh, like it was, there was like a whole uh, section, I guess, that was there and I didn't see it customer is eight minutes away i will have to verify the id so hopefully she is there i mean who is in there it's it's 9 40 at this point so let's go deliver this and to end this pretty good day um i think we're doing okay meters. well that is done she was here they had the id ready so i haven't done a call delivery with DoorDash since last year. I saw on, why is my maps not showing? Seriously, Google Maps, you're getting my nerves. I, sh I saw on Lou and Mary's uh, YouTube channel, on one of their videos, he's doing um, alcohol deliveries and he says that basically now, instead of scanning the ID, the customer entered their ID the beforehand map, on the app and you just have to check that it's the same. To me, it's kind of shitty because before when you scan the barcode, you could have anyone giving you uh, an ID. Like, uh, if it's not the same person, for example, that placed the order, but the person that receives the order is 21 plus and their ID is not expired, then they can um, receive the, the order. For this kind, it has to be the same ID because you have to check the picture and stuff. For example, when they when we were doing Drizzly, like I said, this uh, for lunchtime I had a, a gift. So in that case, it cannot be the same person. You know what I mean? The person who placed the order is not the recipient of the order, so it it, it cannot be the same. I guess. I mean, since they're not doing Drizzly anymore, maybe it changed. I don't know. So uh, it was a guy who answered the door. The, the street was pitch black. Thank God they had the numbers on the pavement and it was a little bit like faded. I was like, well, but they had put their uh, uh, lights on the front porch was on. So thank you very much. And he opened the door and I said, hey, I just need to uh, check the ID. He was like, oh yeah, sure. He gave me her ID and then she came and she was like, oh, so great. They had the bottle that she wanted. I said, well, they only had five. She was like, it's so good. And uh, then she, I think I needed the signature and then uh, I was done. $21.25 for that order. It took me some time to find the bottle, but all in all, I think it took me 25 minutes. For a last minute order, I was legit going back home. I was like, yeah, this is useless. I'm not gonna get any orders. And I got this one. And usually I don't shop and deliver, but obviously when it's a good order, I'm not completely stupid. I'm not completely stupid, obviously. And now I, I kind of know how this uh, supermarket is. I tried downloading their app to see if there were aisles on there, and there are not. So honestly, it's just a pain. Like, just put your aisle numbers on your app, guys. Helps everyone. I didn't give. Her, the receipt I don't know if I had to I don't care I've never given the receipt to anyone because I've read a bit of everywhere and they said uh, $4.25 come on you can't do better than this um, I've read everywhere that DoorDash marks up the items which kind of makes sense otherwise how would they make money apart from their $1 billion fees that they're charging everyone. That's another debate. Uh, nine miles for $8. Yeah, sure. Sure, buddy. <laughs> I'm gonna do this right now. Um, it's a joke, I'm not doing it. So yeah, I'm pretty happy because I was so sure that I was gonna go home and, do, and, and get no order. Uh, but today have been surprising because at lunch as well I was like I'm not gonna get an order to go back home and I I did so grateful very much thank you very much for anyone who is influencing this I don't know luck random I don't know uh, but pretty good for a Saturday 
considering the fact that I'm not even sure I made 10 deliveries today. I'm pretty certain that I haven't made 10 deliveries today. And I'm, I'm over $100. So, you know, you just need to know your market. I feel like the more you know your restaurants, the more you know your market, the more you know where the good tipping neighborhood are. Middle class um, neighborhoods end up tipping really well, like 20%. Um, like, for example, I'm in like middle class neighborhood and I tip 20% to give you an example. I mean, I'm not the, you know. So you need to know where the people are, who lives where. Because sometimes in the middle of a very, very wealthy neighborhood, you will have like some places where it's not that good. So the more you know your market, your zone, uh, the best you're gonna do, obviously every market is different. Some market are just crap, you know? Um, not every market is LA. Like, I understand, I get it. I refuse orders. Sir, can you drive? Like, come on, it's 10 p.m. There's no one in front of you. Why are you driving five miles an hour? I don't get it. Like, I understand not going super fast, but I, you need to drive. Like, hey. I know that some people will accept the $6 order. Sometimes I, I decline $9 order because I know it's a crappy order for my market, but some for other market, it's a good one. So to each their own, everyone is different at this point. You should take this into consideration. Also try not to rely on Para too much because I feel like lately that's all I've been seeing on Facebook groups and basically the people are now seeing Para and sometimes it's just an estimate if there are no stars or whatever and they will still decline an order that they would have accepted before because it's a mental game at this point I feel with Para it's just I've explained before but basically I've decided to not use it at all because I I was completely relying on it a hundred percent when it's not a hundred percent accurate which is wrong so, so that's why knowing your market and knowing the restaurants and knowing how to read a, an order is very important like you need to know oh my god just go <sighs> if he could have drove me over to go in front of me he would have like Seriously, for example, a 750 order with one item will not be the same 750 order with six items. You need to know that. You need to understand that. You need to know how to see those orders. And sometimes you will be wrong. Yeah, sometimes it's just gonna be one dollar. It's gonna be like eight dollar fifty, and it still sucks. But the more you train yourself to see those orders, the better it is. So. Oops. boyfriend is talking to me and I'm like talking to the camera and trying to go home um, obviously all of the lights that are always green tonight I'm gonna go home and they're all red but yeah you need to train yourself to read your orders uh, an $11 order for one item is not the same as an $11 order for six items same thing um, sometimes a $20 order is not good because it's 12 miles and in LA it's just a kill like 12 miles it will take you out of your zone out of three freaking zones even so you need to train yourself and don't rely on para as much you need to know your uh, your minimum by by um, your dollar per mile you need to know honestly at this point if you're doing one dollar per mile you're losing money I would say, I, I would advise to do like, um, come on sir, you can do it. Oh my god. I would advise just look where the order is going and if you know that this place, this zone where you're gonna go, where the customer is, is slow with the restaurants, just double the miles in your head because you're gonna have to come back to your hot spots. That's what I do all the time and sometimes a three-mile order for 12, 
like a six dollar for three mile order will just be shit because I, actually it's gonna be six miles to go there and to come back so you need to train yourself and the more you will know your restaurants the more you will make money and also we don't take anything under six dollars like I don't take anything under 750 even but please train yourselves to do this you will thank me later because to be honest Hera has made it very easy for people to be reliable on a service that is inaccurate and that's my problem with Para. if it was 100% accurate I would be like well okay but it's not so just train yourself and they ended by dash so two deliveries 30 bucks pretty good i will put the recap of the video um and i will see you in the next one